Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Petrowski from Gales Ferry School. And today I'm just going to very quickly show you how we can find nonfiction text features in our Scholastic News. I made a copy of this Scholastic News that was from last year. And we're just going to quickly look through it. You can see on the cover that it's about reindeer. And we can also see on the cover that there is a title. That's a nonfiction text feature. It's also a feature of all books that we read. Inside the article, you'll see that there is a heading at the very top. It says built for the cold. That heading is going to tell the reader that everything they read on that page is about a reindeer and how their body is built for the cold. Now there are some other parts of nonfiction text features in the article as well. One of them is called a subheading. And I'm not sure if you've heard that word before from your teacher, but we'll go over it now. So a subheading is kind of like a heading except that it is underneath the main heading. So that's why we call it a subheading, because when you think about it, you think of like a submarine is under the water. I put a little picture of that submarine there. And the subheading is underneath the heading. The subheading tells you specific information about how the reindeer body is built for the cold. So if we look at this page and I open the article up completely, you can see here's the heading built for the cold. And you can see that there are one, two, three, four subheadings. Thick fur is going to tell you all about the fur of the reindeer. The next subheading, wide hooves, is going to tell you all about how reindeer's hooves work and how it's useful to them. The next subheading is strong nose. So all this information here will be about their nose. And the last one is hard antlers. And it's going to give you all the information about the antlers of the reindeer, all the different ways that their body is built for the cold. You'll also find in our scholastic news that there are bold words Sometimes we call these bold faced words. It means the same thing. They're the vocabulary words for that article. On the back of this one, we'll also see some more things. There's also a photo throughout your Scholastic News, which is another nonfiction text feature. Now this Scholastic News happens to have a diagram and a diagram is either a photo or a picture that is drawn with labels. And you can see the green arrow there pointing to the reindeer nose. And this also tells you a little bit about the nose of the reindeer. So here's another label pointing to the fur. And you can see the word fur is in dark print. That's another bold face word. And then this picture here, this piece of text points to the reindeer antler. In your Scholastic News this week, you're going to do a text feature scavenger hunt. So you're going to open up the article. You have a paper copy and you can look through it or you can look online if you like. We're going to look at the coolest bears. You are going to use the recording paper that we gave you. It looks a little bit like this. I shortened it up a little bit, but it says nonfiction text feature scavenger hunt. Go through the article and see if you can find some of those features. When you're finished your scavenger hunt for the text features, then you read the article and complete the back page. So that's your job for today. I know you'll do awesome. Can't wait to see what you find. Have a wonderful day.